हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस द थियोटिकल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ टीटी बाइंग रेट इन दिस लेक्चर वी हैव द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द लास्ट लेक्चर इट सेल्फ एंड वी विल डिस्कस द न्यूमेरिकल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ टीटी बाइंग रेट एंड इफ द ट्रांजेक्शन इज टेकिंग प्लेस इन टर्म्स ऑफ ए टेलीग्राफिक ट्रांसफर देन दिस इज द इक्वेशन दिस इज द फॉर्मेट दैट वी हैव टू फॉलो फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द एक्सचेंज रेट where we and this is the way in which you can write on the left hand side usd oblique inr that means higher currency oblique lower currency market spot buying rate whatever the rate may be less the exchange margin and whatever you get that will become your as tt buying rate and whatever you get in terms of rupees you just round off in the multiple of 0.0025 the rate that you get that will be your tt buying rate now this is the problem which i am giving to you just now and i will solve also on 18th october Union Bank of India received a mail transfer from its New York correspondent for USD ten thousand. That means payable to its customer. Union Bank of India received a mail transfer from its. New York correspondent for USD ten thousand payable to its customer. Its account will. Its account with correspondent bank has to be credited with the amount mail transfer reimbursement. Calculate the exchange rate. and the rupee amount payable to the customer bearing in mind that the exchange margin exchange margin is of exchange margin of 0.0880% and we have to calculate to the nearest rupee amount and on 18th october itself on 18th october this was the rate available in the local interbank market that means usd is equal to rupees 59.2500 and for the next month the rate was 2200 oblique 2300 this is the buying rate and this is the selling rate now we have to quote we have to quote the rate at what rate that means union bank is going to union bank is going to receive 10000 usd from the new york correspondent you can say a customer has approached the new york correspondent or new york bank and union bank has to purchase so union bank has to purchase Our customer is selling ten thousand USD. Then what rate will be quoted to him for that ten thousand? See this equation. Simple. You have to follow. you can write in this way usd oblique inr market spot 
बाइंग रेट वन थिंग वॉज मिसिंग एयर which you should write usd 1 bus usd 1 is equal to rupees itna or equal to that you can delete from here usd 1 is equal to this and here also USD one is equal to rupees. What is the rate given? Anybody can reply. As you know that it is telegraphic transfer. There is no delay. That means the spot rate has to be taken up. This is the spot rate, and this is the buying rate. This is the selling rate. And as the bank is buying. so this rate has to be taken up that is 59.2500 exchange margin less exchange margin at the rate of What is the exchange margin given? Zero point zero eight zero percent. Now calculate that what is Now calculate this. It is fifty nine point two five double zero two five double zero point zero eight zero percent. It is coming as point zero four seven four. Point. Zero four seven four. What you get this fifty nine point two five double zero minus point zero four seven four. You get fifty nine point two zero two six. Fifty nine point two zero six. Rupees fifty nine point two zero two six. This will be called as TT buying rate. Now we have to go for rounding off. Rounding. of in the multiple of 25 tt buying rate for usd Is equal to rupees. Now we do round off fifty nine point two zero two five. This will be the rate applicable. Problem is complete.
Any doubt till here? I hope there is no doubt in this. It is very simple. The format has been given. I take up another problem. Now you can put in terms of rupees also that that how much rupee has to be paid by the customer. That means rupee amount paid to customer against USD ten thousand is equal to rupees. Just multiply that thing. Rupees fifty nine point two zero two five multiplied by ten thousand is equal to how much? It will be five lakh ninety two thousand. Rupees five lakh ninety two thousand zero two five. That means the bank will receive bank will receive ten thousand USD. Because sahi hai naba, and bank will make the payment of five lakh. Ninety-two thousand twenty-five rupees again ten thousand USD. This was a simple problem with respect to TT buying. So at the end, I hope whatever that we have discussed regarding TT buying rate, you must have gained from the lecture. And in the next lecture, we will start with the bill buying rate. because as i told you earlier that in buying rate we will taking up the tt buying rate and bill buying rate so with this lecture i can say the tt buying rate is over and in next lecture we will take up the bill buying rate thank you